I have this Excel workbook with uh, multiple spreadsheets and each spreadsheet has uh, data for a month. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to consolidate these colorful data tables into one pivot table. And I'd like to make it so that whenever I add new spreadsheets in this, in this uh, workbook, uh, the pivot table refreshes based on that new data as well. So let me show you how to do that using some Power Query in Excel. First of all, what I'll do is I'll open up a blank Excel file and I'll close this Excel file because we can't have it running in the background. Okay, here we are. I've opened up a brand new Excel file. I'll go into data, get data from file from Excel workbook, and I'm going to find and retrieve that Excel file that had all that data. Okay, so now we're getting this navigator here and it's giving us an option of which table within our uh, workbook do we want to use as a reference. So I'm just going to select any table from here and I'll just press transform data and I'll explain to you why in a moment I just selected anything randomly. I'm going to go into transform data and this is going to open up our uh, Power Query editor. And once this is open, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select change type and I'm just going to get rid of it. And navigation is the step when, remember that navigation tab came up and we selected a random table? That was that step. So I'm going to remove that step as well. And now we get the raw Excel workbook. Okay. And now we had a whole bunch of tables that we made. And what we want to do is we're going to select the data and expand it. And we're going to uncheck use original column name as prefix. And we'll press OK. Once we've done this, now you can see we have May, June, July, and August. We have all of these data tables all consolidated. But as you can see, it requires a little bit of cleaning, but we're going to make sure that this is as efficient and as, uh, as quick as possible. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll select the first row, and I want to use it as headers. So use first row as headers. And as you can see, it promoted the first rows to headers. Now, there are a couple columns I want to remove. Um, this column has the month, so I want to keep it. In fact, I'm going to rename it to month as well. Uh, this is the product, SKU, sales quantity, the sales, like gross sales, revenue. And these three columns I don't want, May 1, Sheet, and False. I don't want these, so I'm going to go in and choose columns. And I'll wait for that to open up. False sheet may one. I don't want those, so I'll uncheck those and I'll press OK. And those are gone as well. So now I have a bunch of null values that I want to get rid of. So if I select any column, so let's select the product column. And if I go ahead and uncheck null, then that's going to remove all the corresponding rows as well. So whichever value here has null, it's going to remove that entire row. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's uncheck null. Let's press OK. And as you can see, all those null rows are, are completely gone. Now, because we had these four months, um, as each month starts, we have a new set of headers coming in, right? We have this row with the new set of headers, but we don't want this because we already have the headers on top over here and all the column uh, headers are aligned. They're not um, disorganized or anything. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of these rows that have product in the product column okay so again when we go to the product column we'll uncheck product that's going to remove all of these entire rows okay so all of these rows that you see that have the headers so i'll come over here i'll select our product and i'll go ahead and remove that as well so now we have the data cleaned up um, one thing i'll do is i'll go into gross sales and i will go ahead change it the type to currency because it's a currency it's a dollar value type and then I'll just go into close and load and that's going to load it into Excel as a table. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll just put this in currency format as well in accounting format. And now it's the main part where I create that pivot table I was talking about. So I'm going to go into our table design, summarize with pivot table. I'll just add it to the existing worksheet. It doesn't really matter where you add it depending on your situation. And for sake of example, I'll say month is in columns product is in rows and sales gross sales is in values and as you can see we get this pivot table here summarizing the sales by month of each product and what I'll do is I'll go into some of gross sales value field settings number format and I'll change it to dollar format as well okay 
now we've done all of this now comes the real question is when I go into my source Excel file and if I add new worksheets symbolizing new months is that going to refresh over here is the pivot table going to take into account yes it is so let's actually go back and let's we can name this close it and let's go back to our main Excel file the source file and let's add a new spreadsheet so here's our source file um, what I'll do is I'll add a new spreadsheet and we can call this September okay and for sake of example what I'll do is I'll just copy the August data and I will paste it into the September spreadsheet as well now this should reflect on my main pivot table as well as long as it's saved properly okay and now I've opened up our main file our destination file with the pivot table once again and as you can see we have this table which still hasn't uh, reflected the September data yet it only goes to May June July and August and we have the pivot table which still doesn't show September either so what we'll do is we'll go into our data tab and we'll hit refresh and just give it like about a couple seconds and this table should actually show September as well so here it is it's now showing September and as for the pivot table we're gonna simply left click and refresh and that should show September on the pivot table as well so you have to manually go in there and just quickly refresh it just takes a couple seconds but then you can refresh the data based on your source changes as well so what we've done is we've actually taken uh, multiple spreadsheets within a workbook and we've consolidated them into one pivot table in a separate spreadsheet I've also showed you how you can refresh that pivot table so that whenever you change or add data into your source uh, workbook the pivot table reflects those changes as well I hope you found this video valuable and as always thank you so much for watching